Hello everybody, my name is James and welcome to F1 2016 Season 2 and we are at Suzuka so there's only five races left to go and great news, uh, I've finished really well, uh, I got 8th place and I had my best qualifying session, I got 4th so I was 4th going into the race and then I got 8th afterwards, It was I was struggling for pace after that but still, it was a great performance, and even better, I got promoted to first driver with the Haas team. So, fantastic news. And it's a good job they promoted me now before this race, because I do struggle around Suzuka, and to me, it's a difficult track. Um, and it's hard to get past the AI around certain parts of this track, especially in the first sector. So, here goes. Oh yeah, the team expects me to finish 12th. Are you kidding me? Uh, get 12th or higher? Fucking hell. I'm qualifying. Fucking hell. Must be joking. So, yeah, if you fuck up this part of the sector, then it, this is up your whole lap, and I've kind of fucked it up already. I've hit the grass. Sector 1 is so difficult. So I won't be getting 12, let's put it that way. Well, that's really high, I don't know why they think I could qualify that high. But, oh well. Looking on course to qualifying 19, that's no good. Oh well. I've had a lot of great results. <laughs> this might be a bad result coming up. Okay. Well, see where I end up. Oh, 18th, I've moved up. See, I'm doing a bit better towards Sector 3, so that's something at least. I don't find it as hard as Sector 1. And I do that. Wow, well, that's... Well, I was lucky. Wow. <laughs> I was lucky, um... Not to have my track invalidated there. Uh, not to have my lap invalidated there. So, uh... Wow, 13th. <laughs> Caught in the corner massively. Wow. Well, well, if you can't, if you can't beat your objective, beat the game. Why not? Right. Well, okay, not too bad then, 13th. Considering. But uh, yeah, I accidentally cut the corner. <laughs> I went too deep into the uh, final corners and. Well, had to cut it then, pretty much. I was, uh, wasn't going to make the corner. But never mind. And, wow, the rivalry... I can barely talk. The rivalry between me and Jensen is pretty close. Okay. Well, my target here is to finish ahead of Grosjean. That will certainly help in terms of my driver position, so that's what I'm going to try and aim for. If I get into the points, then that's a bonus. And, oh god. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of the oh, it doesn't really rain that much here, and we've got a wet Suzuka. Fan-fucking-tastic. Well, this could be a disaster. Let's see. Though it might improve my pace, so who knows, so long as I don't crash. Lights out, and away we go. I say where we go, I'm not really pulling very quickly off the line. And oh my god. There's a lot of cars slowing each other down around this corner, and I'm taking advantage of that. Did you see that? Loads of cars just going into each other and slowing each other down. And I just go around the outside and get past well, a lot of them. And I've moved up into fifth because of that. Took advantage of that massively. Right. But the bad news is Sebastian Bell's behind me and he always likes to take me out, or at least hit me. So could be out of the race in a few moments' time. Like seriously, out of all the drivers that, you know, hit me off track and that, 
It's usually Sebastian Vettel that knocks me out. I think Grosjean's in ninth, which is fantastic. Or oh, it might be tenth now. Some struggling around this corner for grip. Ooh. Let's end up on the grass a little bit there. Yeah, <clears throat> I know my pace isn't great. So I'm going to forget about the cars ahead of me and just focus on keeping the cars behind me behind me. Um, okay, let's see what I can do here. Okay, not too bad. So I've missed the corner again. Two second penalty, right. God damn it. That is not good for me at all. I just couldn't break for that corner, I'm struggling for grip. So that was not a good move on my part. Now, with a massive train behind me, I couldn't move down several places with that two second penalty. So I could end up out of the points. But we'll see what happens. If I still finish ahead of Grosjean, I'll be happy nevertheless. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Oh, there we go. Right. But I remembered, like, in the previous F1 games, like, if you caught corner slightly, they give you, like, a drive-through penalty or a 10-second penalty. It was like, wow, that's really harsh. So the penalty system in this is a lot better than it was before, let's put it that way. It still has its issues from time to time, but it's much better than before. Yeah, because if you're given a... Oh, my God. All right. Was that really caught in a corner? I don't think I did. <laughs> I don't think I should be given a warning for that. I went off track. Didn't really go faster. What the fuck? Thanks, Alonso. Right, you say I've knocked the front wing, but that's not necessarily true, is it? Must be on. Oh my god, what has happened? Oh, Hulkenberg, what are you doing, man? Are you sure? <laughs> my god, what happened there? Uh, yeah, well, I don't know what the McLaren was doing, but fucking slowing down and weaving left and right, and then. I was just shoved into the wall. So, God knows what's going to happen now. Don't know where I'm going to end up finishing. It's not looking good so far. I think Grosjean is doing me a bit of a favour here. He's holding up some cars. Maybe I can catch up. Come on. You have more speed than this. My car's slightly damaged, but still be able to perform. Oh. Okay. Maybe I could get Magnussen here. There we go. Squeeze him off road. There we go. So I've moved off the place. God. Yeah, thanks for that, Jeff. Like, really? You gotta fucking rub it in my face. Alright. Okay. Don't even try this at 180R. Don't even try and overtake me. Oh my god. Well, I went a bit wide. Oh my god. Felt contact. Um, I saw a bit of debris flying across the track. Uh. Alright. The distance to the leader is 18.3 seconds. 
and um, got who it was who was behind me, but they had to hit because they fucking just went into the back of my car. But I did go a bit wide, to be fair, so it was probably my fault. Okay. Can Grosjean hold up any more cars for me? We shall see. We approach lap four. Okay. All right, so distance to me and Palmer looks about like two seconds, so it didn't look like I was going to get my objective of 12, so maybe I will get it, who knows. So, looking at the positives here, Grosjean's ahead of me, yes, but I'll be able to get my objective, I think. I keep going at this pace. I'm not really catching up to the cars ahead. And, yeah, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens and see if there's any more twists and turns. Really? You give me a warning for exceeding track limits there? I, I was, my car was still on track. I don't know what you're on about. That's harsh. Right. There's two warnings I completely disagree with. Right. Here we go. Final lap. I see the cars. Grosjean still holding them up, and I still cannot catch up. This track is so difficult. Not as difficult as Monaco, but it's fucking difficult. To me it is, anyway. For some, I know some people like Suzuka and uh, drive around it no problem, but for me it's one of my weaknesses. Just don't like the circuit. Fun to watch IRL though, but just can't drive around here. Probably need to put a lot of practice laps in in the future, maybe. Maybe I can improve. Right. So I've just so I'm in the points, but obviously I've got the two-second penalty, quite rightfully, for cutting the corner. Um, you, you know what, I'm going to go rich mix it, take a bit of a gamble, and just push as hard as I can towards the end. See if I can create a two second gap. Probably not, but who knows. Nika Rosberg wins at Suzuka, he definitely needed that. As Jeff Ridley interrupts, wow, really? Wow. That is unbelievable. Two second penalty. Like, nah, don't do that. Oh, wow. Wow, Lewis has won. What? I thought Nico won. Did he get a penalty? Well, thankfully, I uh, still managed to achieve my objective of 12, so I matched that. That's something. Got something out of this race. Um, I did deserve the two second penalty at the start, but like the warnings on like especially at 180R for going slightly wide. Um, I swear I had two wheels on the track both times when I got two warnings. That is really harsh. But never mind. Sergio Perez with a good sixth place. So yeah, it said Nico won on the top of the screen. Well and wow, Mercedes after all that, Jensen got third, so my rivalry with him is going to go fucking downhill. Right. Oh, just as we thought that Nico was going to fight back at the championship, Lewis ended up winning it. So why is that? So, oh wow, yeah, Nico did get a penalty. Three seconds, what was that for? 
Who moves further ahead at the top of the table? Uh, Moving on to the driver of the day then. Corner cutting gained Anderson. one place. Oh, okay. Uh, it's got to be Jolian Palmer. He was in another league for me today. Interesting. Really impressive stuff. The All right. The constructors title may already um, be decided. Jolian Palmer, yeah, he got 10th. Excellent stuff from him. Meanwhile, Renault move up the uh, table. So, with another strong yeah, and um, Grosjean did a great a job. 7th place, he got 6 points. About time he got some points for the Haas team. Um, still ninth in the driver's standings. Sergio Perez closes to me. And look at that, Lewis Hamilton now. 35 points. Um, the gap between him and Nico. And Mercedes still have a 1-2. It is crazy. They could go the whole season with a 1-2 finish and have... 100% record in constructors points. That is that is incredible if they do that. Uh, nine points off Force India, so we could still close down the gap on them. And Renault got their first point thanks to Jolie and Palmer. All right. So with only four races to go. Will Lewis be able to win another world title and get his fifth title on the board? And, uh, oh, first driver bonus. Yeah, I'll take that. Just losing the rivalry. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, so overall a decent performance. I say Suzuka's not easy for me, so I'll take that. It's my best finish yet. Cause I believe I finished 19th there last time, was it? 18th, 18th to 12th, so it's an improvement, so <laughs> that helps. But uh, my favourite track is coming up, which is Austin, so please join me for that one, and I'll see you guys in the next race. Bye-bye.